In this video, we're going to show you how to properly use Blue Devil Head Gasket Sealer. Now, you want to pay attention to this vi video very carefully because if you don't follow these instructions, not only will you damage your car, you'll mess up your heater core, your radiator, your therm you'll mess up every part of the cooling system of your vehicle. All right, first thing is very important. You have to find out the cooling capacity of your cooling system, which means how much coolant can your system hold? Because just because you got the bottle, you are not supposed to use the entire bottle. Well, it's dependent on how much uh, the capacity of your cooling system. Now you look in the back, and you know, right here, it will tell you. If your cooling uh, capacity is up to three gallons, you're going to use a half a quart of this bottle and this bottle is a one quart bottle and if it's four you use the whole quart and so on now if your cooling system is above six seven and eight then you're going to be using more than a quart because if you use less it's just not going to work so make sure you know the cooling capacity of your cooling system all right first of all you got to make sure your engine is absolutely cold the next step is you have to remove your thermostat and i'm gonna show you that in a minute but what i need to show you is why because we got a lot of shops out there that are not doing this now here's well a good picture here's your engine and over here is your radiator here's your top radiator holes and here's your lower radiator holes and right here is your thermostat now you got this holes going up to here and then you got the one going right here when this when the engine when the coolant inside the engine reaches a certain temperature the thermostat will open up and it will allow the coolant to flow through the radiator so the hot coolant is going into the radiator and the cool coolant is coming inside to cool off the engine and that's going to keep on circulating until that cool tip to uh, cool coolant cools off that thermostat and then the thermostat is going to close up and stop circulation once it stops circulation then your fans you're going to have your fan here it's going to cool off this coolant and this one's already cool so the engine cools down now if you now they want you to put blue devil in right through here if you don't take out your thermostat for the system to allow because once you remove your thermostat this system is going to continue to be it's going to flow all the time it's just going to keep on going and keep on going because the thermostat is not there if you do not do that and you start pouring in the blue devil right here where's it going to go if your thermostat is closed only thing that's going to go is in here and clog up your radiator that is a must you have to remove your thermostat now even blue devil has the pour and go system still the same thing pour and go if it's not circulating it's just going to sit right here inside the radiator and the, and they tell you in the pour and go the car's got to be cold so the first thing we're going to do is let's get our thermostat out all right now the thermostat we're looking on a 2014 nissan maxima the thermostat is down here i'm not going to show you how to take it apart because that's not important but what i am going to do we have another housing here that's before that and i took the thermostat out of here so i'm going to take that housing off because the thermostat is part of the housing i'm going to take that one off and bolt this one on without nothing in it so then it's free free flowing but before you do that make sure you drain out the coolant because you're gonna have a spill of it. So drain out the coolant and let's get that housing in there. All right, let's get our thermostat out. And there's, that's how your thermostat is gonna look. Usually your car is not gonna come with the whole housing. This just happens to come with the whole housing. And just like I said, this one over here, I took the thermostat out. So now it's gonna be free flowing. So let's get this one installed. All right, we got everything together now. This system takes three gallons of antifreeze. Now there's probably antifreeze or coolant still in the engine, so it's not gonna take the entire three. So what I'm gonna do is take some water, and I'm gonna take about a half gallon. It don't mean put about a half gallon in here. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do next 
Remember, the engine has to be cold. You want to start your vehicle up, you want to put your AC on. You want to put it, I mean, not your AC, you put your heat on. You want to put it on high. The reason why you want to do this is because you want to make sure this flows through every part of the system, especially your heater core. And remember, this part right here is very important. I am only going to be using a half a quart half the bottle because this is a three gallon system if you use more than that you take a chance of damaging everything so let's get this started up now once we start it up put the heat on it we're gonna come with the bottle and I'm, we're gonna slow we we'll start slowly pouring it in there don't pour this all in there at one time you're gonna mess up your system it should take you about one minute if you're using the full bottle and of course it's going to take 30 seconds if you're using the half bottle all right so let's get this started up get the heat on and then we're going to pour this in together and we're going to start pouring this If it takes more than 30 seconds, that's all right. Now, how do you know when you're stopping at a half a, half a quart? What you do is just keep on looking on the inside or get you a measuring cup or something. I'm about right there, I'm about a little bit more. This is a good time to start your clock. You gotta let this thing run for 50 minutes. Now see that smoke you see right there? That's combust combustion gas. This thing definitely has a blown head gas. The reason why we're doing this is because to do this job, the labor is like, uh, it, it's like 23 hours. So just on labor alone, it's like $2,000. So the customer want to try it this way before uh, going into that. Used car dealerships use this method all the time. You would never know that car had a blown head gasket. So you got to be careful um, when you go buy a used car. Even if you take a mechanic with you, if he don't look inside that system and see anything, he'll never know. So we're going to get this filled up until it comes up to the top and then close it off and already you had started your time already. Alright, we started at 11.38. It's been 22 minutes. We're going to be going to, what time are we going to be going? 12.28. So I just want to give you, a, give you an update of what's going on. Still running good. Everything is good so far. Alright, we'll see you at 12.28. Alright, it is now 12.29. A minute over that is great everything is good the fans are on the temperature is staying um where it's the normal range where it's supposed to be this is done now the next thing you want to do and we're not going to do this on video is shut the car off you have to let it cool down so let it cool down for at least three hours at least three hours i'm going to say about five hours put your thermostat back in uh there's a drain plug on the radiator open that drain plug up drain the water back out and fill it back up with cooling and you will be done all right hope this video helped you out take care